Hi, I'm Flor Castillo, and this is Tell It Like It Is. This week, we are discussing the new federal tax bill, which will affect every single American with changes to the tax rates starting early this year, making it the largest tax reform in American history. On Friday, December 15, 2017, President Donald Trump signed into law a massive one trillion tax bill, capping off a year-long effort by the White House and Republicans in Congress to slash tax rates for both corporations and individuals. I sat down with Bill Schwer, a contributing editor for Political Magazine, to discuss this new tax bill and its potential effects. The new tax bill uh, passed by uh, on a party line vote, only Republicans voted for it in the House and Senate, handful of Republicans voted no in the House. Uh, the centerpiece of it is a tax cut for corporations. Their uh, tax rate was 35%, now it will be 21%. It's a very complicated uh, piece of legislation. It's going to affect different people differently. There are people who are uh, upper middle class, who have uh, expensive houses. Uh, they might lose some of their uh, tax deduction for their mortgages. There are tax cuts for uh, lower middle class people. Uh, so you will get some people in the lower end that do see a tax cut of some sort. Individual tax cuts expire in 2025, while the corporate tax cuts don't expire. So you could argue, well, this shows that this is not really good for the middle class and the lower middle class over the long haul. Uh, Democrats are more likely to say that. Republicans are, are saying, well, when we get to 2025, we'll extend those anyway, so don't worry about that. Higher education is also directly impacted as this legislation will tax the largest pri private college endowments and could put new strains on state budgets to fund public universities. I believe they, sh they shelved the proposal to uh, tax student loans uh, more heavily. I do believe they included a tax on certain college endowments Colleges that have, the, and so on, on the surface it looks like these colleges sitting these big piles of money uh, and that could go for better purposes, so why not take a chunk out of that? But colleges use those endowments often for financial aid purposes, so it's easier to help poor children go to school. Uh, so there may be an, an impact on how expansive financial aid will be uh, depending on uh, how this gets implemented. According to the Internal Revenue Service, new guidance about tax withholdings will be issued in January which means the amount of taxes that come out of your paycheck could change as early as February. I'm Flor Castillo, and this was Tell It Like It Is.